Let's talk about Facebook. Um, up till now, there's been a lot of social networks. There's been MySpace. You know, there's been places like LiveJournal. There's been places like Friendster. Uh, you know, Google had Orchid. Uh, a lot of old ones and things like that. And I've been avoiding them up till now, um, pretty much because of the spammy, gaudy, blasting music, and uh, it seemed to fit the demographic that wasn't me. You know, it was for younger kids. It's probably why MySpace took off so so much for the kids because it was very colorful. It was very, um, it was just easy to use for a kid and. You know, it didn't look all that great, but as an adult, I couldn't stand it because it was too much. Ah, it was just screaming at me, and I'm getting too old for that kind of stuff. So when I first was introduced to Facebook, I um, I saw it and I didn't really get it. It, it looked, I was like, okay, this looks good. It's a clean MySpace, and um, it, it looked like a, a good system, but it didn't look like something I'd use daily. Uh, over time, Facebook has made improvements. They've added uh, applications and they've added a, a development platform where you can write your own applications and um, they've opened up a lot more. There's data available for RSS feeds. There's data available so you can import them and show things on your blog or cross post to Twitter or, you know, do a whole bunch of mashups with it, which is kind of where the web is going today. Um, all to make money, to tell you the truth. But uh, it wasn't until recently when I got my brother and sister involved and I put, uh, put our ministry on the, uh, put a ministry group on Facebook. And, you know, as a geek and as a person who uses technology a lot, I can say that you really don't see the value of things until you watch somebody else who's not as familiar with things as you are. are. Um, they got a really big kick out of it and I started using it more since then and I gotta say Facebook is doing a lot of things right a lot of people have compared it to LinkedIn uh, LinkedIn is a professional developer network uh, where you can you know basically network when you're looking for a job a lot of people tell you you need to go network you need to go meet people shake hands exchange business cards so you know if you go work for another company um, you'll you'll have those bridges, so you know you want to keep in touch with all the people you work with, so you can you know make those business relationships. Facebook is highly capable of that, uh, with the networks feature, the groups feature. Um, they've recently added the ability to to use regular email. Uh, there's there's not a lot Facebook can't do. Now a lot of people complain that Facebook is nothing more than another AOL. It's another walled garden but they're opening up I mean with the applications and with RSS support um, you can get the data out of Facebook that you're putting into it and the mobile integration is genius I mean I, I didn't know you could essentially use Facebook without ever going to the website you can do everything on your cell phone so I gotta say I, I'm a Facebook fan now I'm using it daily um, I got my, like I said, I got my brother and sister on there. They're loving it, and uh, we're going to utilize it to the fullest. So thank you, Facebook, and uh, I'll post my link to my profile in this video, and uh, you can uh, you can add me to your profile if I know you or I I can trust you. <laughs> then I'll add you back. All right, take care. This is Buana from Buana.tv saying, Facebook's a winner.